Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for tuning in. I really appreciate it. And I want to welcome you no matter what mood you're in, no matter what condition you're in, and I hope it's a good condition, but life is tough sometimes. So whichever condition you're in, wherever you're at, whatever timeline, and uh, whether it's day or night, uh, man or woman, whatever situation you find yourself in, welcome back to my channel. Everybody's welcome, and I hope that we can all have, have a, a great commonality when we talk about uh, how wonderful life is and also about the Mandela Effect, which is a commonality that brings us together. And uh, I was looking the other day at Joanne's fabrics, which I'm not really into because, well, I'm a motorcycle guy. I'm not a, a knitter. <laughs> not a lot of bikers are knitters. <laughs> there may be some nowadays. But anyway, uh, you know, I was looking at it and it suddenly said Joanne Fabrics. Or just, no, it just said Joanne to my recollection. And I thought, what? How, how long has that been that way? So I looked it up and uh, sure enough, it has always been Joanne. Uh, you know, it, it's, it goes right along with all the other S's we've lost. Like the book of Revelations is Revelation, and I always probably repeat myself on this, but Sally's beauty supply is Sally. Uh, depends is depend. You know, herbal essences is changed from herbal essence shampoo. Now it's herbal essences. They add S's. Tidy cat is tidy cats. And then they take S's away from other things. It's a craziness. But I don't know why or if they're doing it on purpose or if it's just something that has happened. These trends to push leather, letters together, uh, you know, I've noticed them in and out of the Bible and I've noticed them on signs. You know, everything I look at, I really have to examine because so many letters are put together where they really shouldn't be uh, that it's kind of freaky. And I don't know if that in this, this timeline maybe that's been the trend and so I can't imagine why they would pick each particular thing to change. Uh, but there are many, many mistakes now in the Bible where it, either it doesn't make any sense or the one word has become, uh, in a, an entire sentence, uh, has been made into one word. They've run all the letters together. So it's, it's real craziness. And I was looking too, and this is an amazing thing. I mean, who's ever heard of a goat fish? What the heck is a goat fish, right? <laughs> so, I'm looking, and I'm not into horoscopes either, but I know people who are, you know, and I respect everybody's opinions and whatever their endeavors are. I understand everybody's different, and that's cool. But, what's a goat fish? I mean, where did that come from? So, it's very strange to me. I notice a lot of things lately. Uh, they're saying now that Venus is the same size as the Earth. Now I remember Venus being quite a bit smaller than the Earth. And Mars is also smaller than the Earth. But I don't remember Venus being basically larger than Mars, which it is now in this timeline. So there's a lot of differences and you know, I was thinking about this, really the Mandela effect has caused me to have an epiphany. And you know, we only have a few epiphanies in life, most people. I mean, I can't speak for everyone, but I can say that most people, I would believe from knowing people all my life, have a few epiphanies. And one is, of course, when you realize certain things when you're little, uh, I don't remember what those epiphanies are because I don't remember that far back. but when you find out about sex, when you get old enough to be able to actually have feelings that are of a sexual nature, that's an epiphany. And you go, oh, this is what they're talking about. I've heard of this. And so that is an epiphany. Romance is perhaps a separate and equally important epiphany. And of course, with some people, drugs become an epiphany because they can take you out of this reality and put you somewhere else and uh, even marijuana can cause you to have an epiphany of, of sorts because you realize that wow you can really change 
how your mind works with by altering uh, yourself, your consciousness with drugs. So there are different kinds of epiphanies for different people. Falling in love is certainly an epiphany. Finding God is an epiphany. People have a religious experience. And I have to add one to my list, and that is the Mandela effect, because uh, uh, you know, in my entire life I've heard about ghosts and I've heard about many different things. And I've experienced a little bit of psychic activity, strange things, but nothing like this. I never ever, if somebody had told me 10 years ago that I would be making videos or having what my friend calls coffee talks <laughs> about, you know, uh, us actually being in the Twilight Zone, for goodness sake, uh, I would have thought that's not possible. But I never thought reality was malleable. I never thought that reality could be changed. I thought it was set in stone. I thought that the future wasn't here yet and the past was gone. And through quantum physics, I have learned that that's, the past is never gone. It didn't go anywhere. I'm the one traveling through time. Time is much different than I perceive it. And it really is codependent on space and gravity among other things we probably don't even know yet. So anyhow, why am I making these videos? I ask myself that question, but I think it's because I want to have a camaraderie. I want to have other people be able to comment and be able to listen to somebody who hopefully comes across as being a reasonable person. I've had many, many experiences in life. I've been a real estate broker. I have a good education. And I have pretty good credentials. And so for me to be willing to put my neck out there and say, listen, the Mandela effect is real. It's not made up. And you better listen because you know there are some things that are made up. I believe that people make Mandela effects where there really aren't any, you know, sometimes. But I think moreover, more of the time than not, these things are real. And... Uh, with the occasional slip here and there, the bulk of them are quite real. Like Rod Serling from the Twilight Zone being Rod Sterling in my reality. And now he's never been there. So, and Joanne Fabrics, Joanne's Fabrics, it used to be. But it's never been that now in this timeline and so forth. So anyway, I hope that you have enjoyed this new coffee talk. I'm gonna have to start calling them that because I just was so happy that my friend that I made by making these videos is so happy. <laughs> she was happy that I mentioned it. And uh, so in honor of her, my coffee talk number one deals with epiphanies and deals with uh, some of the newer changes that I've noticed. And I hope that this video finds all of you in great health. Godspeed to you. And I'm keeping them short and trying to make them more often as I notice this, you know, the changes coming up. And today, I tell you, the goat fish really got me. And I know there's been so many changes. I always say after I get off of here and stop recording, I will think of a thousand different things tonight. Uh, even when I'm going to sleep or while I'm sleeping, I'll think of a thousand things that I could have mentioned where everything has changed. Oh, one more comes to mind. Men's Warehouse is now like you're wearing something. W-E-A-R, Warehouse. And that's not, that's not how it was. <laughs> so we add that to the uh, list. And if you can hear that some people have just come in. And uh, it was nice and quiet in my coffee shop. But, you know, you can never know what's going to be coming along next. You just never know. Like the Mandela effect. And uh, hopefully a bunch of good things, a lot of good things are going to come our way. Keep thinking upward.